The Northern Youth Leaders Forum, NYLF, says the Northerners have no right to complain about President Tinubu's alleged lopsided appointments. Some leaders from the region had accused Tinubu of skewed appointments in favor of his southwest region. Islamic cleric Ahmad Gumi had in a recent sermon attacked President Tinubu for appointing Southern Christians into key positions, saying the president would not get a second term in office. The cleric also accused Tinubu of using the North to get to the presidency only to pursue an agenda aimed at decimating the region's political influence. Addressing newsmen in Abeokuta, Ogun State, the national president of NYLF, Elliot Afio, said Tinubu was widening the gap of alleged lopsided appointments inherited from President Muhammadu Buhari. He argued that Buhari created a lopsided appointment gap of 80 to 20 for the North and the South during his administration. Elliot, however, asked Tinubu to bridge the widening gap because the country must not continue in what he termed an error. We also like to appeal to Mr. President to ensure equal representation in his government. Though this is not the first time that we are witnessing lopsided appointments, but we ask, shall we continue in this way as we strive to be advanced citizens? We sincerely frown at the negative propaganda going on against the administration of President Tinimbo by some religious leaders, especially in the northern part of the country. Though religion has unfortunately become a part of our way of life and thinking, it should, however, not be considered as a yardstick for appointments and placement, as some of our religious leaders are trying to paint it. We call on the Renew Up administration to urgently contain this ugly trend and situation before the minds of the people are polluted, especially the northern youth in the rural areas who constitute 70% of the northern population. He also frowned at what he called negative propaganda against the administration of Tinubu by some religious leaders in the north, calling on security agencies to rein them in. Afio called on Tinubu to urgently curtail the ugly trend and situation before the minds of the people are polluted, especially the northern youth in the rural areas. It is unfortunate that some of the religious leaders, about three sheikhs, are even saying that the Abuja belongs to the north. And I wonder how Abuja belongs to the north. When you was have, when the federal capital was in Lagos, we have a northern Aribadu who was the administrator of Lagos. And uh, if you claim that Abuja belongs to the north and the northerner must be the, the minister, how many votes do we get for the APC from the, the Abuja that you have the right to claim? Uh, Abuja is a federal capital territory, it's a no man's land. Oh, and somebody that was born without even knowing his parents, no class, no education, nothing, no exposure. Your only exposure is to gather firewood in the evening and put, and then in the morning they give you a plate to go and bake. So this type of people, and we have majority of them. So if they are indoctrinated in this direction, then there will be a danger. That's why you see Boko Haram bandits uh, continue to be patronized. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.